Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over working with positive and negative numbers and the rules that apply. You'll see that we're going to work with multiplication and division and then addition and subtraction. So let's get started. With multiplication and division, whenever you have same signs, it's going to be positive. When you have different signs, it will be negative. Pretty straightforward. So let's work some examples. Negative 6 times negative 2, the signs are the same, so it's positive 12. 6 times 2, they're both positive, it's 12, and it will be positive. This one, we have two different signs. 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. Division works the same way. A negative 6 divided by a negative 2 is a positive 3. Again, same signs will be positive. And now we have 6 divided by a negative 2. Signs are different, so it would be negative 3. Now let's look at addition and subtraction. And here are the rules to follow. Okay? Same signs, you keep the sign. Different signs, you take the larger number. So let's work through examples and see what that means. First, we have 2 plus 8. Signs are the same, so we're going to keep positive. 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay, negative 2 plus negative 8. Signs are the same, so it's going to be a negative 10. Okay, now what do we do with this? We have a negative 8 plus 2. Okay, they're different signs. 8 is larger than 2, so it's going to be a negative. But in this case, instead of adding, you're actually subtracting. So think of it like this. If you see negative 8 on the number line, it's to the left, and you're moving it two places to the right because you're adding two positive numbers to it. So it will become negative 6. So again, different signs take the sign of the larger one. Negative 8 plus 2, you actually subtract the 2 from it. It becomes negative 2. Now with subtraction... Um, you basically follow the same rules, but you're just going to convert it to an addition problem. So you have negative 8 minus 2. You're going to convert the subtraction to a, a, an addition, but we need to do something with that negative sign, so we're going to place it with the 2. So now you have negative 8 plus a negative 2. The signs are the same, so we're going to keep the sign, and it becomes negative 10. How about this? We have 8 minus 10. We'll convert it to an addition problem. So it becomes 8 plus a negative 10. Remember, we're going to subtract the 8 from the 10 and keep the sign of the larger number. So it becomes 10 minus 8 equals negative 2. And finally, you may have a case like this. You have negative 8 minus, and in parentheses, a negative 2. We're going to convert it to an addition problem. So it's negative 8 plus 2, but we've got to do something with that sign. And so it becomes negative 8 plus, in parentheses, negative, a negative number outside the parentheses minus 2. But a negative and a negative becomes a positive. So it becomes negative 8 plus 2. So remember, we're going to take 2 from the 8, so, and we're going to take the sign of the larger number, so it becomes negative 6. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.